Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We are Tuesday, the 26th of March 2024, and I've just, just came today. Joy Toy Warhammer the Horus Heresy Imperial Fist Legion, is it Praetor maybe, with Power Sword? And it says it's a 12.4 cm collector's action figure. Um, uh, this will be bigger than 12.4 to the very, very, very top. And probably to the top of the head, it might be slightly bigger too. I'm not entirely sure how they do the measurements because sometimes they seem to be accurate, sometimes they're quite a way off, even if you measure to the same point. Anyway, looks really nice in the box. He's got that new sort of plastic wrap with their name printed on it. Better look on, on the back. Comes with a helmeted head, unhelmeted head. Very nice power sword. Two pairs of additional hands. The details on that face look really quite good. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, let me unbox him, set him up. I'll be back in an instant. Stay tuned. And here he is. He is a good looking figure. Now, obviously, the face on the back of the box looks better than this face because that one on the back of the box has been properly inked. This one a little bit, but we'll have a closer look at that in a second. Very, very cool. So, other than what he has with him there, he also comes with. The base, which everything seems, seems to come with now. Even after they started doing these, there was a couple of figures that didn't come with it, but these ones, all the new ones have. He comes with his helmeted head, the beaky head, which is really quite cool. I'll have a go swapping it around a bit later, see what it looks like. He comes with two other pairs of hands. So he comes standard right gripping left trigger, which is the opposite to normal. He also comes with the right trigger, left gripping, and he comes with two fists, left and right fists. Okay, let's get a close look at him, but before that, please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. You can see everything before it's published on YouTube. Also, there's exclusive content from time to time and prize doors too, including one happening in April, uh, so it is worth checking it out. Let's get a look. The gun looks fantastic. Don't have that sort of seam line down the center we've seen recently, so it looks pretty good. The face, definitely not as good as the box. The sword of that hole is really, really nice. Great details on that sort of buckle, the chest section. He needs some inking on these silver parts there. And also here, the eyes at least are done. Looks great. And this sort of a, it must have a Dalek. <laughs> these raised bubble parts there and there see the gun again looking really quite nice does that part come out of the gun I don't think it will do but I'll have a quick check no well not on mine without trying to break it see so the bag his backpack looks good and then check this out this looks really cool too it's got these parts here and yes the dagger part can stow in the sheath he's just a very very nice looking figure look great on your shelf with other Imperial Fist Horus Heresy or even your normal Imperial Fist stuff. Very nice. So his gun because he's attached to his arm, his shoulder it looks like, and also to his body under his armpit there. Sword, there's no scabbard for the sword so he's always going to carry that. In terms of articulation, this head's going to be a bit awkward with that part on the back, but he can look left and right. So forwards, backwards, a side to side. The nozzles do rotate on his backpack. Looks great. Shoulders is the issue. He should get all the way around, and it's on a like, type of ratchet all the way around. I'm going to say no, because the cable doesn't go around, but it's not bad, I guess. Outwards is the issue, as always. Nothing further than that. This arm again, especially with the pauldron being so high. Uh, there is a bicep turn, so you can swivel from the bicep from there. The actual bicep bend... If you get the angle right, he's capable of more than 90. You see, that's far more than 90, hidden by his pauldron. Uh, the shoulder does have the shoulder roll forwards and backwards really nicely too. 
So he can bring his arm right across his chest, which is great. Then the rest of the same ball in all direction movement that we've seen. Trunk is from the top. It's quite hard to to um, isolate that with the uh, this section here, but he gets a good force backwards, side to side. Is okay. He can turn. Then waist as well. Just adds a lot more to his movement. Hips won't go very far because all the sculpting. Forwards. Oh, it's popped off. Yeah. Come on, pop back in for me. He does not want to pop back in. All right, let me just put, quickly pause this and pop him back together. Back in a second. Okay, forwards, not great. Backwards, things that's going to get in the way, so it's not going to be great again, unfortunately. Does have the fire twist, knee, double kneecap will be very tight, even with things in the way. And not too ugly, but the kneecaps are quite nice. And then he's got the uh, foot turn, the swivel, tippy toe. He's got the very nothing dorsiflexation, but his toes do have the articulation. All right, let's stand him up. Give him his sword back and change his head over quickly to get a look on that. It's quite tight. Let's hope I can do this without having to warm him up. Okay, that is in. Sword in his hands. So, do you prefer him like this or with his unhelmeted most? Ah! And his uh, little backpack thing fell off. Most, I think, will prefer him helmeted because he likes to have that sort of helmeted look. But the unhelmeted head is a nice looking head. You see, it is a nice looking head he's got here, just that it needs inking to make it pop. Okay, let's get a look at his height, his size, and do a comparison. So they said 12.4. Bear in mind, I have changed the head over. Sorry about that. No idea why that stopped recording. Uh, so top of his head is around about 13, maybe. Very top of the backpack is around about 17. And inches, top of the backpack, 63 quarter. Top of the head is around about five and a half perhaps okay let's compare them to some others so let's get our standard mark three armor ultramarine sergeant this is one of the spoiler squad also horus heresy and you see that here's a big boy in comparison if we look at the chaplain console horus heresy imperial fist again i would say the praetor is yeah, he's bigger than both. The uh, sergeant is the shortest, and next biggest is the is the chaplain console. Then the uh, the praetor here is the largest of the three. Very, very nice. I am liking these Horace Heresy releases a lot. He's going to make for a great display with his uh, fellow brothers in arms. Let's quickly put him in an action pose. Though it's not the easiest with his shoulder articulation. Especially if I'm trying to do it quickly like this. That would do very simple pose. And he looks very, very nice. Indeed. Nice looking figure. Another good release from the Horace Heresy line. It's going to look great with your, the rest of your collection. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon. I'll see you next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.